Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see how we can add a JavaScript alert in .NET 6 Blazor server project. So I have already created a, a demo server project. This is the default template which already comes with when we create a Blazor server app. So in this in this uh, web root, I'm going to add a script file, JavaScript file. So add new item. And here we can select JavaScript and we can simply name it as script.js. Click on add. So inside this script.js, I'm going to add a simple function. So here it's a simple alert window.alert and it will receive a message and simply in the alert box it will display that message. So once this is done in this on the pages in host.cshtml i'm going to add that reference link so here i have added in the script script reference and on this index.html i'm going to simply remove all this and add a simple button So here I have added an input button and uh, the on click of that button I am calling a save method. So let me add the code section. Inside this code section I am going to add a simple save method. So here I have it and uh, in, from inside this save method I am going to call the alert method alert function. So let me add that. So here I am create. Uh, I have alert method which sends any parameter we can like uh, the, any message we can pass. So let's create this alert function separately. So here you can see in this I have simply created a alert method and this JavaScript runtime we have to add one reference on the at the beginning of the page. So let's add that. So here we are injecting the interface of JS runtime. So once this is injected using this JS runtime, we have to invoke as asynchronous with the alert function. Okay, so here we have in this script.js we have this alert window.alert and this will automatically call the alert method. So let's try to run it. So here I have the save button. If I click on it, I will simply get this message employee created successfully and this message keeps on coming. So this was a simple like in Blazor if you want to use any JavaScript library or any other JavaScript function then we can simply use in this way. We simply have to create the JavaScript and using this JS runtime invoke a sync we can call that function and pass the required parameter. So that was it for today. See you in the next video.